Watch. He's the new top Catholic in America. On Wednesday, Timothy Dolan will become the new cardinal of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of New York. Dolan says his top priority is to re-inspire a sense of pride in Catholics. The church has been greatly tarnished in recent years by the clergy sexual abuse scandal. All of us hang our heads in shame and uh, are still nursing grievous wounds. But uh, that doesn't mean we blame the church. We, we know that there are certain people in the church who have sinned, uh, but the church itself still calls out what's noble in us. Dolan released the names of all accused sexual predator priests while cardinal in Milwaukee, though he says he has not decided whether to do the same thing in New York. But as I look back on what happened in the archdiocese in Milwaukee, I'm glad I did it. In the fight against abortion, Dolan says the church needs to emphasize its efforts to help pregnant women to carry through with their pregnancies. And it's not that we're trying to impose Catholic values on the rest of the country as much as to remind America of its birthright, that we were a nation found on certain inalienable rights, as Thomas Jefferson said, and then went on to list them, the first one being life, and so that it's at the core of the, of the American uh, experiment. That, uh, that every human life would enjoy the full protection of the law. He faults Notre Dame President Reverend John Jenkins for inviting President Obama to speak at commencement and receive an honorary degree at the school next month. In what I, I feel is the premier civil rights issue of the day, namely the protection of the law given to the unborn baby in the womb, he's, he's very wrong. Dolan says he does not think Jenkins should step down over the matter and says he supports Obama on many other issues. The new archbishop says he likes to walk four miles a day and is promising a more open ministry with the public. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, New York.